Well, we had a great deal of confidence going into the Nebraska game. Um, we felt like we had good preparation. We felt like we had a real focus team. And I think as much as anything, we really simplified our game plan, game plan on both sides. And kids had a lot of confidence that we were going to go let them win the game. Champions are crowned in November, and uh, you know it hates, just brings more true this year. You know when we were when we were crowned champions of the Big 12, and uh, coaches, you know our coaches have been stressing it since the first day we came in last winter for this, you know for the first workouts. You know we were working out to play our best football in November because I mean that's when it all counts. We were we felt confident. I mean we had the two weeks of practice, and you know, again we wanted this game so much. I mean. The last five years losing by combined 15 points and basically having those games in the palm of our hands to only to lose in the fourth quarter. I mean, it's almost like, I guess you could say, playing against your, your older brother. You want to beat him so bad and, you know, all the years growing up, he's just been beating up on you and, you know, your opportunity came and, and we took advantage of it. We kick it off and we're underway. Pat Rome boots it deep. And it's five yards deep in the end zone, but the Huskers are coming out. Five yard line, 10 yard line, 15, and that's gonna be about it. Motion to the far side. Here's Crouch running, pulled down behind the 15 yard line. Sean Puff goes flying through there and drops him for a three yard loss at the 4D. Just going out there as a defense, starting the game, setting the tempo, it was just, I've never played in a game so loud before. And then, uh, you know, the very first play of the game, Sean Tufts just came through the line and uh, made a big play on the air crouch. And right there, I think that set the, te uh, the tempo of the game. We, uh, we, had a, we had two weeks to prepare for him. Um, I mean, I, I think that's the key going, going into every game this season, was our preparation. Uh, we did a did a great job of that each each week in in and out. So uh, I mean I think we were confident, but uh, I mean we knew we were playing a playing a good team. First down, strength against strength there, 32 yard line. Passavento to Johnson. Brunson in motion, third down. Back goes Passavento. He's got some time. Steps up and fires. Here's Brunson. Makes the catch. That's in the blast the 40 yard line. Here's the first down play with Hollowell in motion. Give it to Bobby. Behold, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! <laughs> A 39-yard run by Bobby Jarrett. I guess uh, the first touchdown is probably the best one. Uh, just because, you know, we broke it off for I don't know how many yards, like 50 or something. And uh, it was just, just to know that we got the first one and we wanted to start the game out fast and uh, get our momentum going early because that was our key to the game. Snap, spot, kick on the way. Good, Colorado seven. Nebraska nothing. Pat up for the ball, and that's a good, good high one going again. About two yards deep in the end zone. Davis coming out again. He's at the pin. Oh, he to the 13, and he is really racked. Aaron Kellyan took him apart at the 13-yard line. the backfield behind Crouch. Crouch gives to Diedrich. Diedrich gets to the 15, fights him. Football goal! It's a football! The ball's still on the ground. There's a battle for it. And I think Colorado might have gotten it. Colorado recovers! Colorado will have the ball at the Nebraska 21-yard line. Here's motion by Derek McCoy. Back goes Pesavano. Bobby's letting it go to the end zone. It's a touchdown! The pass completed to Daniel Graham. They come right back, 21 yards for the score to Daniel Graham. You know, we wanted to prove that we could beat Nebraska, and it was 10 years since Colorado beat Nebraska. And, you know, we really wanted the senior class, we really wanted to be the class that, that got the job done. All right, there's the kick by Flores. It's good, and Colorado leads 14 to nothing. Third down, here's the fake, Krause rolling. Krause getting brought down at the 24. Joey Johnson once again. Eric was just thrilled by Johnson. As a senior, we um, didn't want to go out in our house losing 
to Nebraska. We made it a point, um, each person in our senior class, and they made it a point to let everyone, everyone know on this team that we are going to go out there and we are going to be Nebraska. And we just did that. Eric Crouch with the eye formation, gives it to Diedrich right up the middle, and Diedrich's not going far. Down and eight yards to go. Crouch out of the shotgun. He dives straight ahead and gets nothing. Maybe a half yard to the 45. Tyler Brayton met him head on. Here's Crouch rolling. He's down at the 50 yard line. He went to make a cut and slip. 14 to nothing, Colorado. Casavento takes the draw, looking long, throws it over, Daniel Graham at the 40, at the 35 to 30, down the sideline, 15, 10, 5, and he is out of bounds oh. at the one yard line, they say. We had a group of seniors that made a decision as to the standard that they're going to play to and the standard that they were going to hold everybody else on our team to. And, uh, you know, they were relentless about it. A touchdown! They had to go in there and dig, and they saw that Pesavano had in the end zone. Bobby Pesavano has scored! Snap, kick, up, good. Colorado 21, Nebraska nothing. On the field or in the stands, in their wildest dreams, could have imagined a start like this one. Here's the spot down, and the kick by Brown is up, and this one is good. Fendel is back in the game. Bobby hands it off to Purify, and here he comes. 30. He's at the 40. At the 50. 45. Still going to the 40 and down to the 35-yard line. We all came out of, the, out of the locker room that day kind of kind of geeked up and ready to get going. I mean, that's, a, that's a special deal for us. It's our rivalry game. We came out, and uh, it was just a great atmosphere. Everything was real intense. defensive front is just not used to being manhandled like the CU offensive line is doing right now. I'm telling you, they're just blowing people off the football. Pesavano again to Brown. Pack it back, five yard line. Touchdown! Chris Brown, 12 yards for the score. You know, I come down to the backside and there's supposed to be a linebacker there, you know, to block, and uh, there's nobody there. And I just feel this huge, like, parting of the Red Sea around me no no defenders around and you know and I just you know you feel a running back fly by you into the end zone I mean it's, it's an incredible feeling. Snap, spot, kick, it is good. One minute and 50 seconds left in the first quarter here in Boulder. Colorado 28, Nebraska 3. Quarter, 233 total yards for the Buffs, 73 for Nebraska.
Here's the fake pass to Vano, bootlegs out. He's passing on field. It's caught by Daniel Graham at the 40, across the 45, and out to the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, draw play, purify 50, 45. He cuts to the outside, pulled down from behind at the Nebraska 35-yard line. Back goes Pesavento. He's going to throw it. Downfield. McCoy's got it. 10-yard line. 5-yard line. Out of bounds. Down at the 1. Uh, we're a confident team, confident group of guys. And, uh, you know, it really wasn't anything that we didn't expect to do. Um, we knew if we came in and played our game, we, we would take care of Nebraska without a problem. Brown behind Drum. Here's the give to Chris. Touchdown, Chris Brown, his second of the day. Snap to Burionic, the kick is up, it's good. Colorado 35 and Nebraska 3. We knew we had to start fast. We knew we had to make a statement early in the, in the football game from a defensive standpoint. And, and uh, all those things materialized and you know, gave us that, that huge, huge win against Nebraska. seniors got up and you know and, and talked in their individual position meetings and uh, and I made it a point in my uh, defensive back meeting to to reiterate to those guys how important this game was to me you know as a senior not being able to play these guys again and wanting to get this program turned around. Got two blockers in front, running right, gets to the 50, to the Colorado 45. Again, keeping the football and now pitching out to Collins, tacking down at about three to go. Rouse gives to Collins, he's back for a loss. Justin Bannon. Well, for a while there, I'd, I'd kind of been setting the center up. Uh, when the guards would pull, I'd cross the center's face. I wouldn't try and backdoor it like I did on that play. So uh, he's expecting me to try and cross his face, and I. I'd, I'd read before the play that uh, this guard was going to pull, so um, you know, I said, I'm going back door, and I just shot through the gap, and no one could touch me. And I just I had a good hit on the guy, and I uh, do that in my last home game. <laughs> I just lost all control. I, 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 that was one of my favorite plays ever as a buff. Everything that we do and the philosophy of what we do offensively starts with our line. And, um, you know, they have been an outstanding group. If there's a better offensive line in the United States of America, I'd like to see it because I don't believe there is. Bobby goes back. Here comes the rush. He gets the pass away. This time Graham catches. 45, 40, down the sideline. He's to the Nebraska 36-yard line. First down. Pesavento to Brown. Chris Brown, 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! <laughs> Chris Brown, his third touchdown of the day. This one goes for 36 yards. It's been our game plan all year to run at people, and uh, we haven't changed uh, from K-State to A&M to Nebraska. Whoever we played, we've, we've done the same thing, and... Um, Obviously, uh, it was probably a little bit more evident in Nebraska, some of the holes that were there. Half spot, kick on the way, and he nailed it. Colorado 42, Nebraska 16.
Obviously, I mean, we hadn't beaten them in 10 years, so it's a big deal. Uh, but I don't, not only that, I think it was kind of, we kind of made a statement that day, and I think what Coach Barnett has been trying to preach all along about RTD and return to dominance, I think that particular day we put on a dominant performance against a team that year in and year out is, a, is, a, is on top of college football. So I think it's safe to say that, you know, Coach Barnett has set the standard for, for us being back in the elite group of college football teams. We kept our heads, we were level-headed, we were focused, and we wanted to make sure we put that game far enough away that we had a comfortable lead going into the fourth quarter. So every man on this team was focused. No one let anyone down. Um, coming out of halftime, we truly believed that the score was 0-0. So we had to go out there and just keep putting points on up on the board. Bobby Purify, 11 carries, 123 yards, one touchdown. And Chris Brown, eight carries for 92 yards. Three touchdowns. Uh, Cortland Johnson addressed uh, our offense. And as I stood back in the room and listened to him and watched our players, uh, you know, just really respond to what he was saying, uh, there was a great sense of purpose in that room that I knew right then and there, I didn't know the score was going to be what it was going to be, but I knew that we weren't going to be denied. So I just think that shows what this team and what Colorado football is all about. And uh, you know, there's no telling how many points we can score or who we can stop or who we can beat when we're playing our A game. We've had a lot of guys step up on this defense, on this football team, uh, and really prove themselves as to being what they are, and that's champions. Down and still goal to go. Again, the face to Diedrich. He's going to throw, and great catch by Wistrom. Here's the gift to Diedrich. He dives over the top. Fumble. Fumble, I believe. I think there's a fumble down there. Let's see who got the ball. Colorado comes out of there with it. First down, Colorado. Oh. They have stopped Nebraska on the goal line. I mean, we're, they're kind of gaining momentum on the state of the on the field, and they were on the goal line. And we decided we took that I don't care, that I don't care attitude and went out there and caused a big play. I mean, it was a huge turning point in the game. Without that, they pulled within six, I think. That was just a real big turning point. Josh Brown to try the point. He makes it. I was nervous uh, till the very end. Uh, you know, it just it seems goofy to say that, but I was because of the way things have happened to us the last few years against them. So, you know, I wasn't taking anything for chance, and uh, you know, I wanted that win so bad that it just just didn't matter. You know, I'd I'd done anything for it. So, uh, yeah, when they got it within 12, I was starting to get nervous, but. Uh, you know, our offense came right back down again, scored, and then our defense came up with a couple of huge turnovers there late in the game, and then basically just put the nail in the coffin, and, and you know that was history. First down and ten. 
fake it. Passaveno is going to roll out, and he's got running room. 10-yard line, 15, 20, 25. He's out to the 29-yard line. Yeah, basically, I mean, it was the same play we ran earlier in the game that Dan caught for a long, long game, and Dan and Quinn ran into each other on the crossing route, and I mean, my two guys, my two receivers were taken away, and there's a big hole there, so I just took off running. Gives to Bobby. He cracks back. He gets to the five yard line from the half yard line. Here's the give to Brown. This time he's in. It's like we're a family. We play for each other and each other only. If we do our job, try to do your job to the best of your ability for the right man next to you. If everybody does that, then everything will be clicking right on. About his back to Baryonic. The kick is good. Colorado 49 and Nebraska 30. Nebraska, I mean, nothing can compare to that. I mean, and, uh, I was just reading the quarterback's eyes, and I knew he, he had to get to the first first down marker, and uh, the guy in front of him wasn't at the first down marker, so I knew he wouldn't get there. And the guy behind him broke behind him, and I just broke in front of him and stole the ball from him. Here's the top back to Brown. Brown escapes. He's at the five. He scores. Fifth down. Five. Touchdown. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a nail in the coffin. One more nail in the coffin. 55 to 30 is the score. Colorado on top. Still 11:33 to go in this game. It, it's a compliment to everybody on the offensive unit. I mean, because it's you know we are, it's, we're 11 guys playing as one. You know and. And I think for that to happen, you know, everybody has to be functional on a level. And it's just, I know everybody takes pride in the fact that, you know, we, we ran for six touchdowns. Pushed the blocker ahead of him and then made the cut behind him 
ran over a Nebraska defender and into the, into the end zone. For some months, very special, unbelievable. I mean, the six touchdowns are mostly attributed to the offensive line and fullback. You got Dan, Brandon Drum and Daniel Graham at tight end. They did a great job opening up holes for me and Bobby and CJ, and we just ran through them hard. Jeremy Flores to try the point. Spot kick, 62. That's the most points ever given up by the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Here's Crouch keeping, and he's not going to get the two. He's tackled back at the five-yard line. So the two-point conversion is not good. It was amazing. It was a perfect day for an offensive football team. I mean, our offensive line dominated the line of scrimmage and allowed us to run the football up and down the field against them. And then, you know, when we needed to throw, we took, you know, we threw the ball downfield against them and made big plays in the passing game. Here's the third down play, toss, back to Brown. Brown gets the first down at the 20. You can hear the hit going on down there, but Brown is gonna carry it for a first down at the 17 yard line. And Colorado just has to kneel down, it's over. They're not gonna contain them. There go the goal post on both ends. The Colorado Buffaloes have knocked off the number one team in the Bowl Championship Series. Final score, Colorado 62, Nebraska 36. The Colorado Buffaloes have not only beat Nebraska, they beat number one in the Bowl Championship Series Bowl. The North Goal Post is down. The South Goal Post is on its way down. Black and gold all over the field as the Colorado Buffaloes have beaten the Huskers 62 to 36. I've never been on a field where you know everyone rushed it and there was just fans everywhere going crazy, celebrating with us. Um, it was just a great feeling knowing that you know because what we did you know made all those people go nuts. For that to be my last home game uh, with that kind of atmosphere, I, c I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, it's, a, it's everything you dream of to happen, and it happened. So. That's one way to go out. That's, that's the way to go out.